Hello everyone. Welcome to Analytics School YouTube channel. This is session five in base SAS programming series. Till now we have learned how to read raw data from external data sources when the data is separated by a delimiter. Today we are going to learn an important topic that how to read raw data from fixed column, which means that raw data will be column aligned and variable will always be in the same location. There are two ways one can read raw data from fixed column. Number one is column input and the second one is formatted input. Out of these two ways, today we are going to learn how to read raw data from fixed column using column input method. We use column input method when raw data file doesn't have delimiters between the values or period for missing data. Moreover, each of the variable is always found in the same place in the data line. Then we use column input method. But remember, all values should be in character or standard numeric format. So column input method has some major advantages over list input method. Number one, delimiters are not required between values. Second, missing values can be left blank. Third, character data can have embedded spaces. Fourth, one can skip unwanted variables. Let's do one example now. But before that, let's go through our data set. This data set is about the marks of these students. As you can see that, that this data is column aligned, which means that variables are going to start at a fixed location. Moreover, you can see that between roll numbers and the name of the student, there is no space between them or any other sort of the delimiter. The second thing which you can notice that the length of the name of the student is having embedded spaces as well as the length of name variable is more than eight by it. Moreover, in second row, you can see that here there is a missing data and we have not mentioned it as a period. We are just keeping it as blank. Now let's work on this data set and see how we can read this data. Let's write a SAS program to read raw data using column input method. Let's analyze the SAS program now. Since our variable are starting at a fixed location, we need to assign length to a variable. The first variable ID, which is numeric, and the data values are in columns one to three. Similarly, name, which is a character variable, and data values are, co are from column four to 17. And since it is a character variable, we have put up a dollar sign. Moreover, science, math, and economics are numeric variables and we have assigned the length of the variable in this method. Let's check our log. In log, the most important thing is to look for underscore error underscore equal to one. Since we are not finding that particular thing, our program has run successfully. There has been no warnings. So this is all good. Now let's go through our output data set. In output data set, we can see that the data has been read properly. The IDs are mentioned properly. The name which is having embedded spaces is still we are able to read the character variable successfully. And in the second row, as you can see that there was a missing data and we have not assigned a period. And we are able to read the second row properly with a missing data. So we can read column aligned data by using column input method. If you remember using list input method, you must read all data in a record, which means that one cannot skip any unwanted variables. However, when we use column input method, one can skip unwanted variables. Let's see how we can do that. Let's analyze the code now. 
I hadn't mentioned a student ID and math variable in our code. Let's check our log window and output data. In log window, as you can see that there is no underscore error underscore equal to one. It means our SAS program runs fine. In output data, you can see that there is no student ID and mass variable in this uh, in the output data set. And this is how we wanted to read our data. In this simple way, we can escape unwanted variables, which we were not able to do so by using list input method. Guys, this is an end of session five. I hope you have liked it. And if you have liked it, then please do like and subscribe us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.